Hello everyone, welcome again and today we are going to cover all the topics related to the MySQL work events. So how can you operate the tool MySQL work events and perform the op following operation like download and install MySQL and then set up the MySQL work events and over the MySQL work events how can you create a new database and create a new table and set the delete update database and X database and alter the table, truncate a table, delete a table or you can say drop a table and import and export the database create ER diagram and start the job server so uh, to download and install the MySQL and MySQL workbench you just need to uh, we have created a configuration link to for all the tools that are required to the Java web development. So in this link you will find the database configuration area. So in this area let me show you okay so database configuration. So here you need to download the you need to follow these steps and download the complete MySQL since this is uh, a tested version and it's working fine with all the combinations so it's i uploaded on the drive so you can download the complete mysql from here and you can install the uh, things accordingly and this video will going to help you to uh, installation and all the process to install the system on mysql and run the mysql workbench again so this is for the database configuration you just need to follow this thing this thing will provide this link in the description box also you can directly redirect here and the second step that uh, second question that we are going to take up what how to create a database so once you uh, install that mysql it will look like this and you want to enter your connection and so when you enter into the connection you will find right now I have a lot of database but initially when you install they will find some one or two database like a Sakila and test or something. So let's see how to create a new database and how to create a new database. So we can uh, fire the SQL queries also here. So for to fire the SQL queries we have an option in my SQL workbench is SQL plus so where you can fire your query other option we have to we can perform by the GUI so when I uh, use GUI you can see you can check this icon create database so when I click on this create database and here you need to enter the database name for example I enter the name as a text like uh, demo demo text and this will be my database name and it will be not taken a capital letter so we have to enter it in a small letter demo test and when I click on the apply it will automatically generate a, a query for me and when I click on apply and finish you can see the demo test database is created here the other way to create is directly you can fire the query so when you click on the SQL to direct query and change the name and then two and when I execute this from this icon and you can see and next you need to refresh this scenario uh, this uh, database section so it will database will display here so you can see now the database tool is created here so this is the both two way so for every step you want to perform the write a query you can use it uh, sql command page but now i'm going to show you how can you perform all the things about gui don't need to apply to the sql knowledge so now let's see how to create a table so just select this uh, database for example i'm going to drop it for now so uh, for demo test we are going to create a table here so just double click on this database it will select you can see the it's in uh, dart now and this is the icon from where you can create a table so when i click on this you are under the table so you have enter here the user uh, it means the table name and select the column as an id for example and like username username and enter user password so, so you can select it should be auto increment or not it should be unique key or primary key according to the requirement you can select the option here 
and when I click on the apply it will create again the uh, script for me so that is a SQL query so again and click on apply and finish it will create a table to me so okay the next thing if you want to see the table later just right click on the table and select the first option select row 100 limit 100 1000 so you can see the data table right now here we don't have we do not have any option like any data here so how can we insert the data now the next question create table date data was done the create table is done and now we are going to perform insert delete and update operation so for example i want to insert a data so we have query insert into the table name and values and the value so we can write the query also we can perform the same task by gui so just double click here under this section and enter the id and select like the username enter the data. Uh, username for example i'm going to enter the user one and the password is pass one and for second record i'm going to two and user two and pass two so when i click on the apply again it will create a query let's check the query and click on apply Okay, so you can see the data is here so this way you can insert the data right and uh, in same way if you want to pass the query you can enter the query here and just run this command it will automatically insert the data in this table other thing if you need edit this data now for example i want to edit the data so again select that particular option and change the data user name for example, I'm going to change the text of the user to username, and and now you can see the supply button is disabled. Just click outside of this, and somewhere like here, so I click on here, and now you can see the app, uh, apply option is enabled. Click here, and you can see the command update uh, table name, and then set username equals to this, the ID equals to this, and click on the pass, apply, and finish. Now <coughs> check the table the name is updated so now if you want to delete a row just right click on select the row and right click on that row and you can see the options here delete row when you click on the delete row it's done but now it's not done until you apply the changes so click on the apply apply and finish now you can see the data is changed and the user second table is gone so it's so done delete update and uh, <coughs> insert sorry <coughs> so now the next option alter a table alter means you're going to change something in the table format so i'm going to right click on the table and click on the alter table so here i can change the name right now it's all on the primary key so i'm going to remove this primary key the first changes and the second changes the column name for example, I need to change the column name, so I just select user name and path. I make these changes and click on apply button and finish it. It means I can change the table format also. Now you can see it's user and username and user pass. Okay, so alter is done. So in the alter, you can change the table format, the architecture of the table, like attributes name, and if you want to change some primary key or the <coughs> functional key, uh, primary key, and or foreign key, and null or not much. So under this kind of uh, changes in the architecture of table, you can use alter. And the next is truncate. So truncate means it's going to delete all your data and it will keep uh, the table format same. For example, we have two data. Like I'm going to add more data here. Two, and some dummy data. Here also some dummy data. Three, dummy data. Dummy data. So this time you know now I'm the table, let's see what happened. Right now we have three entries in the data table. So when you click on right and click on the truncate table. Right, so you want truncate? Yes. So when I truncate it, it's in process. It's executing. Let's wait for it. So in the trunk it means it's going to delete all your data and keep the table format as a key. Okay. Is it done? Now let's execute the same command again. Now you can see 
the data is gone but the format that we will use still so this is from truncate and delete and drop a table for example i want to delete a table so or uh, the entire table or drop a table so let's right click on this and choose option drop a table click on drop and drop now and the table is gone now <coughs> Okay, I, I, I dropped the table. Now we need to use import and export database. For example, I want to import an existing database. So I have some database. Let me see. Okay, let me uh, have this database as uh, ticket. Uh, ticket. So I'm going to export this data, for example. So to export the data, I need to go on the server and click on the data export option here and select the database from here and create this export to cell content file and this will be your location where you want to save your database file so I want to select desktop and the desktop will create a folder called database and I'm going to select this location and the file name is air ticket or something you can keep it for instance so when i click on the start export button it will start the process and let's see the location in the database folder so there will be a file under the desktop desktop you can see the one file is there now let's see for example i'm going to drop this so drop it it's done and now i'm going to import the data mm okay so the database is not there now i want to import the same file so just go into the server import like the import from self content file because we have only one file if you have a folder of database you can select this option and select that folder now click on the browser icon select this file click open and start import it will take some time to process this and if everything is just fine we will okay finish and it's important now you can see the database is there <coughs> so it's imported successfully so by this way you can add edit delete perform many operations only using the GUI part it's really useful for me you don't need as clear knowledge of some theory structure that you have to fire to perform this kind of operation so the next thing is create ER diagram so we'll see it later uh, okay this is continue it and create a database diagram so to create like for example i want to create a uh, er diagram for this database air ticket so let's go to database and you can see the option reverse engineering option select this option and select your connection so in my case the connection is local instance mysql 56 and click on the next button click again on the next button select your database so i select air ticket click on the next click on the next and i just execute the command so why uh, make diagram of this because this is the database that contain all the following keys and task and things so you can see the diagram is automatically created according to the table so now let's see how can we export this in jpg or png format so go to file and export as a png and click at the new location and the name air underscore er save it i think this saved yeah it's there i can see uh, auto generated yeah diagram for our data okay so that's the thing you can perform here the last thing is how can you start or stop the server in any many cases you face the issue uh, to start and stop the server so right now my system server is in running and if you want to stop it just go to server and go to start and stop server so in case if your server is not running automatically sometimes you have to run it forcefully so how can you do that so just go to server and go to the section start start up and shut down my space server and from there you can run so look you can see now it's a stopped now 
So to run it again, you can see the database is gone. So if you are running the MySQL and you are the, you you can see this kind of uh, interface. You didn't find any database here. So you need to go into the server and server section and so it's like the option is start up and shut down and here you need to start the server if you see the pop-up you just click yes now you can see the status is starting and the database is going again <coughs> so it's all about the mysql workbench it's really handy you can use this and you can our all the java web project we are using this in case you are buying any project from code one and you are using this this video is going to hopefully this video is going to help you to understand the things and uh, thank you so